Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. Today, we're doing part two of building Boba Fett. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, welcome back, Star Wars fan. If you missed it, last time I did episode one of building Boba Fett. Uh, it's always been my dream, my goal, to have a complete, uh, as close to screen accurate as possible, uh, Boba Fett costume, not going for complete screen accuracy, not going for 501st, going for, I want to look like Boba Fett and have fun. <laughs> that's, that's the goal. I want to look like Boba Fett to the, to the average person and I want to enjoy myself. So that's, that's what we're doing. And uh, I've always known it was going to be expensive. I always knew it was going to take some time, uh, slow going. But maybe a couple uh, months back, I just decided, you know, if I don't start... I'm never gonna finish, right? You just, I just gotta put one foot in front of the other and just and just start. So I decided to start with all the soft parts. Soft parts meaning flight suit, pockets, belts, shoes, spats, gloves, things like that. So um, that's what I've been doing, accumulating all of that. And I'm super duper close to finishing. Um, gloves, I think, are the next purchase I need to make. Um, I do have some gloves that I show in the video. They're just not the right ones. Uh, my brother sent me gloves. Um, they weren't the right ones. So I don't know if he has the right ones and I just need to exchange them or, or how that's going to work. I'll, I'll talk to him about it. Uh, so in the first video I did, I, I put on a lot of the soft parts. In this, in this video today, in today's, I'm going to put a, a few more soft parts on. So we're talking about belts, uh, Wookiee braids, things like that, the cape. We'll show you all of that. So I'll put all of that on and then... Uh, I guess we'll go from there. All right, let's go. All right, here we go, round two, dressed in the same flight suit that I was wearing from part one. And uh, the flight suit, by the way, uh, I got on Etsy from Krypton Top. And they sent me some other soft parts as well, like these pockets. I don't know if they go on the left or the, I gotta figure out which one's left and right. What's the, what's the, the way to know? I need to figure out. Uh, which side the white one goes on and which side the green one goes on. I've seen some of the other guys uh, in their costumes. They seem to put like a foam block. Like there looks like there's a foam pad that's shaped like a square inside them. So I got to figure that out. Plus, I think they do that with the tops of the thighs as well. This is the ammo belt. It was made by Bat Ninja. And so it's supposed to be uh, pretty close to screen accurate. I think I got to tuck all the pockets towards the front like that. Is that the right way to wear it? Or I probably need to wear it higher, right? It needs to be a little higher. Uh, and I probably need to, yeah, lose some weight. <laughs> uh, and here's the honor sash. This is an actual horse saddle. Uh, it probably needs to be untwisted and laid flat. How do you guys get it to be like all the same direction? I don't, I've seen some people, they've got theirs like perfectly. I had to have my wife help me uh, put both on, but I know that is not, that's not good. Well, yeah, I, the, the honor sash needs to be a little bit more flatter. I think it needs just to be uh, more visual. And so then we have the Wookiee braids. These were made by somebody named Julie. Uh, if somebody else out there knows like her screen name or the store name that she goes by on Dented Helmet, I would love to give her credit. They are real horse hair in sinew. Sinew? Yeah. Uh, they're accurate. There should be a little piece of Velcro on my shoulder to hold it uh, in place. Either that or get a snap, I think would work, would work better. And so this is the uh, cape. I did not use the cape from uh, Krypton Top. This is an actual uh, piece of fabric that is just like the movie. So my brother was able to uh, source this. So this is a found item. I'm going to have to weather it up. Uh, he's already drawn on the pattern for how I'm supposed to tear it and rip it all up. So that'll be uh, pretty easy. And then I just need to weather it, right? Make it look, make it look all dirty. Of course, I got to try the helmet on because, you know, got to, got to, well, wait, I don't have gloves yet. I should put the, yeah, put the gloves on. And these aren't the right gloves. I said that before. I know they're not the right gloves. So we'll put the gloves on and we'll put the helmet on. And so, yeah, these are my soft parts. What do you think? How, uh, what do I need to do next? Let's, uh, let's get the comment section going. All right, Boba Fett. All right, so that was it. 
And uh, since recording that, since recording that, I was, I had so much fun and I was so encouraged. I just went out and purchased my shoes and my uh, shin tools. So I now have uh, boots, or I don't have them yet, I'm waiting for them in the mail. But I bought my Kaboots uh, shoes and uh, got uh, shin tools, I think, from Man of War Studios. Uh, they're not dressed up, so they're, they're going to come, you know, they're going to come gray. So I'll be doing tutorials on how to paint them and get them ready as well. So from the shin down, <laughs> I have everything. I can't say from the knees down I have everything because I don't have uh, knee armor. I have the silver... Uh, what are they, missile things that go in the knees? The, but I have the rocket, I have the knee darts, I have those, but I don't have the actual yellow uh, knee pads. And so can't really say from the knees down, I'm done. I'll just say from the shins down, I have, I have everything purchased. So, oh, and I'll have to do a tutorial on how to put the um, metal brackets on the front of the shoes. So if there's anybody watching this that's built Boba Fett before, uh, or if you got any tips uh, and tricks or tutorials about how to A, weather the shoes, B, paint the shin tools, C, put the metal brackets on the front of the shoes, I would love to see uh, any notes you have or people you followed before that's done those, because I'll be looking for tutorials for all of that soon. And then I think after this, like I said, I gotta buy the gloves and I think the, I think the rifle is up next. I think the rifle is uh, gonna be one of my next purchases. So thanks for watching. May the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.